I mean, this is a big day. The prosecution had asked for 25 years. So this is in keeping at one level with what uh, various judges in J6 cases have done, which is to, to you know, give lower sentences than the prosecution has asked for. But I do think for Stuart Rhodes, 18 years is still very significant. Around a thousand people have been charged um, with crimes related to January 6th. The great majority of them have not been seditious conspiracy. The only people that were charged with that particular count were members of the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys. And I think that that charge makes sense for the Oath Keepers, for Stuart Rhodes, and for the Proud Boys because uh, the prosecution was able to show effectively that they were planning uh, to prevent uh, Biden's electoral votes from being counted. So they were you know, limiting what the government was supposed to do, the active business of government, um, but they were not charged with overthrowing the government. The way the prosecutors are clearly thinking about this is that a hefty sentence is an act, it will deter future acts um, of this kind of behavior. And that may very well be true. And I think it's fair to say that the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys are on the back foot, at least in terms of trying to overthrow uh, Biden's presidency. In terms of deterrence, at one level, I think that's that's probably the case, and certainly with those groups in mind. And I think that's what the prosecution is looking for at the end of the day. I think you've got some people that are true believers that, that are just not interested or concerned about the actual facts. So they're not going to care if a judge in Washington finds Rhodes guilty. That's not going to change their mind about the election. But it could and hopefully will change their minds if they were going to try to uh, prevent uh, you know, Biden, if, if, let's say Biden is running against Trump again and he wins, that they would try to prevent that from happening.